So in our previous chapters, we had talked about a stateless instance group. In this particular chapter, we'll talk about creating a stateful instance group. Now, the difference between a stateful and a stateless instance group is that in a stateful instance group, there is no auto scaling. So the number of instances that you put initially, it would always remain that same. Now, the advantage of using a stateful instance group is that the state of the disk the instance name, the metadata, etc., is preserved even if the instance goes down. So, so in this particular example, what we'll do is within our instance, we'll install Apache within the startup script as well as PHP. And after we've done that, we will log into this instance using SSH and manually install MySQL. And we'll create a new PHP page. And after we've done that, we will just stop this particular apache server and that will cause the instance group health check to fail and it will recreate this particular instance again and once this new instance has been created all the manual installations that we had done that is the mysql installation and the new php page would still persist so let's see how we can create a stateful instance group so now let's go to instance group and let's create an instance group let's click on create instance group And this time we need to choose stateful. So we'll choose the stateful instance group. And here we need to give the template. So we'll choose the template that we had just seen. And here we need to give the number of instances. So, so here the number of instances would define the number of instances that would be there in this particular instance group. So for example, if I put this as two, then there will always be two instances within this instance group. And it does not auto scale as in the stateless one. So let's just keep this as one. So there will always be one instance within this instance group and not more. And let's go down. And here we need to choose the instance template boot this. So we'll just make this at stateful. So let's click on yes. So this will preserve the data within the disk. And let's also add the health check. Let's click on the health check that we have and let's click on create. Okay, so our instance group has been created. So let's open this instance group. And if you open the external IP, it should open the Apache default page. So what we'll do is we'll log into this particular instance and we'll install MySQL. And apart from that, we'll also create an index.php page, which will be connected to the MySQL that we've just created. So let's do that. So the first thing I'll do is I'll install MySQL, click on yes. Now the command to install MySQL, I'll give in the description below, so you can just check that out. So let's log into MySQL and create a user. And this user we will use in our index.php file. So we'll create a user called super user and we will give him this particular password. So let me just copy this and create a new user. Now again, these commands I'll give in the description below. So once you've done that, let's go to the page in which we need to add our index.php file. So here we'll add our index.php file. So let's do that. So here I already have an index.php file. So let me just copy this. So all that it does is it just connects to the MySQL that we've created. So again, it's the super user and it's the same password that we had given below while creating the user. And all that it prints is basically whether it has connected successfully or not. If it hasn't, then it will give this particular message. So let's copy this. HTML and let's paste it there. And finally, let's just restart our Apache web server. Okay, so once this is done, let's try to log in back to our index.php and let's see whether it works. So let's connect to this. And this time I just need to give an index.php as well. And you can see that it gives a message saying that it was able to connect us successfully. 
And the next thing that we'll do is we'll stop the Apache web server. So what that would do if it were a stateless instance group is that it would create a new instance along with a new disk and along with a new metadata. But what is going to happen here is that it's going to preserve the disk and it's going to preserve all the metadata as well as the name of the instance. And again, once we once a new instance gets created, we can still access this index.php that we had manually added. So let's see whether that happens. Let's go back to a VI and let's stop this particular machine. And let's go and see the instance group. So this health check should fail right now. So let's refresh this. And you can see that it's become unhealthy. So let's wait for this to become healthy again. And one more thing to note is that the name remains the same. So the new instance that gets created would also have the same instance name. And now if we refresh this particular page, you can see a new fresh instance has been created. And again, like I stated previously, the name remains the same. And let's log into this particular instance. Now again, let's log into the PHP. And you can see that the index.php is still there. And so is the Cloud SQL. And it's able to connect to the Cloud SQL. So that's it for this lecture. So in this lecture, you learned on how you can create a stateful instance group. So I hope this was useful. I will see you in the next.